are you guys this morning? It's so good to be in our classroom today. Tomorrow is a super special day. It's Thanksgiving Day. And I hope you guys have big plans to just spend time with family. Be thankful for those that you have around you, even though that might be different this year. I know some people are not going to be able to travel and do the things that they typically do. But you know, we have to make a choice to be content, don't we? And be satisfied with where we are and who we're with. And just rejoice that God has blessed us the way he has throughout the year. Always providing what we need. Maybe not always what we want, but providing what we need. And so, oh, I just love Thanksgiving. I love being with family. And I love turkey and dressing. Some of those things that we maybe don't have the rest of the year. I don't know about your family, but in our family, we don't cook those things throughout the rest of the year. Maybe Christmas but just Thanksgiving and Christmas. And so I'm very excited about all the yummy food, but most importantly about celebrating what God has done, the things that we have to be thankful for, our family and our friends. And I encourage you to do the same thing, especially tomorrow. Thank God for the things that he has given us. Thanks giving, two words. We are giving thanks, right? Giving thanks to God for all that he has done. Oh, look, we have a visitor. Hello, would you like to say hello to the boys and girls? She was persistent on being with us this morning. Can you say hello? Say hello to everybody. Say happy Thanksgiving. I'm thankful for you, Nala. Yes, I am. Say happy Thanksgiving. Yeah. She's not going to be very happy because she's not going to get to eat all the yummy turkey with us. <laughs> but we still have a lot to be thankful for. So let's get started with our pledges. Here we go. American flag. Let me know if you're out there, guys. Attention, salute, pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Now let's sing. My, I'm going to hold on to it. My country, tis of the sweet land of liberty, of the I sing. Land where my fathers died, land of the pilgrim's pride, from every mountainside, let freedom ring. Our freedom is something to be thankful for, absolutely. Because people give, give their lives every day and have for hundreds of years so that we could be free. Free to worship God, free um, to to speak our mind free to get an education education is not always cost free but we are free to go to school and get education and that's something to be thankful for all right and now our christian flag we really need to be thankful for jesus don't we attention salute pledge i pledge allegiance to the christian flag and to the savior for whose kingdom it stands one savior crucified, risen, and coming again with life and liberty to all who believe. I am so thankful for Jesus. Let's sing Onward Christian Soldiers. Onward Christian Soldiers, marching as to war. Come on! With the cross of Jesus, going on before. Christ the royal master leads against the foe forward into battle see his banner go onward christian soldiers marching as to war come on march with the cross of jesus going on before so thankful that Jesus loves us so much 
that he gave his life and died for us so that we would have a way to be with the Father, to be with God. Pretty, pretty big thing to be thankful for. All right. And now our Bible. Everybody nice and tall. No slouching. Come on, guys. Attention, salute, pledge. I pledge allegiance to the Bible, God's holy word. I will make it a lamp unto my feet, a light unto my path, and will hide its words in my heart that I may not sin against God. All right. Nala's tearing down the felt board. Hey, don't do that. That's not for you to do. All right. Bible's on your shoulders. Here we go. The, can you sing the B-I-B-L-E, Nala? The B-I-B-L-E. Yes, that's the book for me. I stand alone on the word of God. The B-I-B-L-E spells Bible. Good job. Good job, guys. All right. Now, what about the weather? What's the weather? What's the weather? What's the weather like today? Is it cloudy? Is it sunny? Is it gonna rain today? Well, I don't know about your window, but it's pretty cloudy at my house today. So let's get one of our cloudy suns. Uh oh, come on, where are you guys at? Here we go. And let's put that right here on Wednesday. It is cloudy. There we go. All right. And how about our calendar? We need to count off our calendar today because we need to add today's date. So let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. 21, 22, 23, 24. What's going to go right here? 25. Good job. 25. And then tomorrow will be number 26, but it is Thanksgiving Day. Thanksgiving Day. What a wonderful day to celebrate the things we are thankful for. All right. Now, let's sing Days of the Week. Days of the Week. Days of the Week. Days of the week, days of the week, days of the week. There's Sunday and there's Monday. There's Tuesday and there's Wednesday. There's Thursday and there's Friday. There's even Saturday. Days of the week. 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 Okay, so if today, if today is Wednesday, that means tomorrow is Thursday. That's right. And if today is Wednesday, yesterday, the day before today, was Tuesday. So what is today's date? Today is Thursday, November 25th, 2020. Good job. And we're still in the season of fall, or autumn, as some call it. Hey, Nala is playing with the felt characters. Get down. Silly kitty. All right, so I brought a special book to read with you all today. But before we do that, let's look at our memory verse for this week. Remember yesterday, 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 18. 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 18. And that says, give thanks in everything, for this is God's will for you in Christ Jesus. And so in everything, we're to give thanks. In the good times, and the times that are kind of sad, and the times that we're, we're tempted to be anxious and worried, in all things, give thanks. And trust Him. You know, I was reading a devotion this morning, and it was talking about how, you know, if we're filled with Jesus, then there's not room for other things like, worry and fear and anxiety just fill ourselves up with Jesus and if we do that he's enough he is absolutely enough for us and and I'm so thankful for 
for God's Word that teaches us these things. There's another thing to be thankful for. God's Word. All right. Give thanks in everything, for this is God's will for you in Christ Jesus. That's in 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 18. Big number 5, you know, in your Bible. The U.T. number 18. And that's in the New Testament. So, let's move on to our story. Now, this story is written by Amy Parker, illustrated by Kirsten Richards, and it's called A Pumpkin Prayer. You know, because this time of year we have lots of pumpkin things, right? Okay, let's see what these little mice are up to. With thanks, there's that word again, thanks, thankful. With thanks, I say a pumpkin prayer under an autumn sky. For crunch, crunch, crunch beneath my feet and leaves piled up this high. There we go. Look at all those pretty leaves. And you know when they're dry and they go crunch, crunch, crunch. And one of my favorite things to do is to rake all the leaves up and then run and jump into the pile. I saw my friend Adrian and Emerson did that this past week. They had a big time. I think their grandpa raked up the leaves for them and they would run and just jump in them. It's so much fun. Something to be thankful for, right? Cool. Let's see what's next. For autumn winds so cool and crisp. You know when the wind is cool and crisp like that? It reminds me of how God is in control. And He is almighty. And He, he controls all things. That launch the leaves in flight. So the autumn winds so cool and crisp that launch the leaves into flight. Blowing the leaves all around. Aren't they cute? They really are. For orange, yellow, brown, and red. A colorful delight. Now look how these little mice have made boats out of the leaves. Isn't that clever? And there's a frog friend sitting by. They're paddling down the stream in the different color leaves. For yummy smelling pumpkin pie and orange grins that glow. That looks like the farmer's pumpkin. I wonder if they know the farmer that we read about yesterday. Remember that? Grins that glow. For family, friends, for plenty, and a God who loves me so. And here they are around the campfire, thanking God for loving us, thanking God for our family and our friends, and plenty. You know what plenty means? It means we have enough. We have exactly what we need because He, he provides for us when we trust Him just in the nick of time sometimes. You know, I've heard many people, I've talked to many people over the years who maybe they were in a financial hardship with money or maybe they were worried about buying groceries because they just didn't have a lot of money. And just in the nick of time, somebody will show up with some groceries. You know, it's not coincidence. That's God. That's God at work all around us. And I am so thankful that we get to see him work and be a part of it. Join him in what he is doing. So be thankful and trust God. Wait on his timing because it is perfect. Trust that he is in control and obey what his word tells us to do. Wait, trust, obey. So that's my encouragement for you guys this morning. And I just pray today. We're going to pray in just a second. And I, and I pray that you all have a wonderful Thanksgiving, giving God praise and thanks for all that he's done for us. Let's pray. Get your hands up. Here we go. One little, two little, three little fingers, four little, five little, six little fingers. 
Seven little, eight little, nine little fingers. Ten little fingers folded in prayer. Bow your heads and close your eyes with me. Father God, I thank you so much for the way that you love us. I thank you for your word that teaches us about you and helps us to know how to live. And Father God, I thank you that we can see you all around us in your creation, in the crisp, cool air, um, in the way that you provide. Lord, we just, we praise you and thank you today for the way that you are always there for us. And Father, as we enter into this season of thanksgiving, Lord, I pray that it will continue throughout the year, that we will remember and be intentional to thank you throughout the year, but especially at Thanksgiving, as we celebrate the first pilgrims, the, the Indians who celebrated the first Thanksgiving, and that the pilgrims came here, God, because they wanted freedom to worship you. And so, Father, I thank you that they were able to come together and celebrate the harvest together as friends. And so, Lord, this year Thanksgiving looks a little different for some of us. But, Lord, I just pray that wherever we are and whoever we are with, that we thank you and praise you because you are always with us. Even if we can't be with family, even if we can't be with friends, we are with you always. And I thank you for that today, God. I thank you for the freedoms that you have given us here in America. And I thank you, God, that you are always there for us. I thank you most of all, God, for your son, Jesus, that you sent to pay the price for our sins so that we could be connected to you, so that we could have hope of eternal life in heaven, so we can sing thanksgiving because the life in this crazy world is only temporary, but eternal life will be with you where there is no sin. I am thankful for that today, Lord, that we have hope in that. And Lord, it is all in the precious name of Jesus that I pray. Amen. All right, guys, have a happy Thanksgiving. We will be back in our classroom on Monday. And I have a special surprise because, you know, Sunday begins Advent to lead us and prepare our hearts and minds for the Christmas season. And so... I'm going to do a special Advent every morning for you guys. I know we had moved chapel to Monday, Wednesday, Friday, but I just, I want to help you guys be prepared for Christmas and celebrating the birth of Jesus. And so we're going to have a special Advent time. It won't be a full length classroom. It's just going to be a special Advent time. I may even do that in the afternoons. I haven't decided yet, but I'm going to post that for everybody so their families will have your families will have that to prepare our hearts and minds for the awaited baby Jesus. All right. I love you guys. Happy Thanksgiving. Enjoy your time tomorrow, and I'll see you right back here Monday. I love you guys. Bye.